Hello everyone, it's Becca from Becca Books and Bujo and welcome to another weekend reading vlog. Happy Friday. I am so chipper for 7.50 on a Friday morning for some reason. Who knows why? It's Friday. I have to work today and uh, got to get a lot done at work today. Uh, Friday is kind of always the last day to get things done for Sunday. If you don't know, I work at a church and there's worship on Sunday. So I need to get the PowerPoint that we project during worship all set up. I need to get uh, the bulletins done. This week we have an insert for the bulletins. This is very thrilling. I know. Very thrilling stuff. Um, but also it's a lot of just mindless tasks on Friday. So I generally can listen to an audiobook pretty easily. Let me tell you where reading's at. Yesterday, I finished three books because I was like 10 pages from the end of two of those books. And one of them was a middle grade that I just breezed through in one evening. Um, so I finished Love and Color by Bolu Babalola, which was a really awesome romance. It was like retold folklore from various countries around the world told in modern day. Really, really cool concept. And there were a couple short stories in there that I loved. The second book I finished was Lou by Jason Reynolds, which finishes a series for series September. Woohoo. And uh, I just feel so accomplished. And the third book I finished was The Collected Regrets of Clover by Mickey Bramer. Now, I guess I'm a little bit disappointed. I think I had such high hopes for Clover that I held it on this pedestal, thought it was going to just make me sob, make me feel so much. And it just didn't quite get there for me. So I uh, was a little disappointed with that one. Still had some great, some great lessons. And uh, I, I liked the overall themes and I liked looking into the life of a death doula. That was really cool, but it just fell a little bit short of what I thought it was going to be. Uh, so that meant I finished all the books I was in the middle of. So I needed to start new ones. And last night I started A Little Life by Hanya Yanagahara. <laughs> I just make the face of the guy on the front every time I say a little life. Um, yeah, so I started that one on audio because it's 800 pages. Ugh. I didn't realize it was that long, but it is that long. And I've heard it's just going to break me. So we'll see. Uh, and then I started physically The Things We Do for Love, which is one of the very last Chris and Hannah books I have to read. I'm trying to read all of her books. So I'm working on it with uh, with the things we do for love. And I started it right before bed last night, so barely got into it at all. Like eight pages because I was so sleepy. Uh, anyway, so that's where we're at for today. I might uh, go to the library over lunch because I have a book I think that should be coming today. Uh, yeah, and you'll just come along with me for a fun weekend. There is actually a lot going on this weekend, so you'll get to see what we do on a weekend in fall it's fall the fall equinox right today yeah fall <laughs> Um, barbecue meatballs and mashed potatoes yum this was a dinner from a couple of nights ago and <laughs> Willie his eyes were way too big for his stomach he cooked that night so he put the meatballs in the saucepan and uh, it was way too many meatballs so we'll have meatballs for a long time to come while I eat I'm just going to watch some YouTube something you might not know about me I love budgeting YouTube channels <laughs> so um this one YouTuber I watch, uh, her name is Amy, but her YouTube channel is Dear Debt. She puts out a debt-free Friday video where she tells us how much she put toward, it used to be her debt and now it's um, savings. So that's my nerdy math number side <laughs> of my life. So yeah, I'm gonna watch that and then, uh, then I will go back to work. Just kidding. We got packages and uh, 
These are fun ones, guys. I, I wanted to show you. One is totally practical. One thing is totally practical. The other two, you might think I'm a little crazy because it's only fall. <laughs> I'll just show you. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Oh dear. I want to show you the other thing first. Okay. I got bookmarks. I've been really loving tassel bookmarks for some reason. I don't know. They're exciting to me. And uh, these have little tassels and flowers. Let me take it out of the packaging. They're a little bit thicker than I thought they would be, but it's because they actually have real flowers in there. They're so cool. Can you see? Dried flowers and a tassel. That's gonna be fun. Fun bookmarks to use. So I got a white one, purpley flower one, pink. Can you see them? And I thought one was gonna be like green, but I guess it's another pink. That's fine. Okay, the next thing in this box is slightly ridiculous because I got really excited <laughs> um, when I went shopping the other day and I saw advent calendars. And I was like, oh, I really wanted to do advent calendars with our kids this year. And I wanted one too. So I got one for Theo and for me so far. For Mabel, for Mabel, I'm actually going to do a book advent calendar that our uh, friends at the library sells. Uh, they do 24 board books leading up to Christmas. So I'm gonna buy that at one of our friends at the library book sales. But for Theo, I'm gonna have to hide this because he will want to play with it immediately. I got him a Play-Doh advent calendar. He loves Play-Doh and he loves just designing random things. But I think every day he'll get one Play-Doh and then like a tool and something to make, like a stamp or something uh, to make with that color Play-Doh. So I'm very, very excited for him and for me <laughs> for this. And uh, so that's his advent calendar. <laughs> My advent calendar came in this box or this bag. And it's really fitting that I show this to my booktube channel. The Book Lovers Advent Calendar. <laughs> 25 bookish gifts for readers with bookmarks, ornaments, greeting cards, and more. Ah! I'm so excited. So now that it is finally fall, might as well get <laughs> something for December. I'm crazy. Oh, it looks destroyed. I'm not gonna open it yet, but the top does not look good. Do you see? It looks like something's falling out of it. Anyway, okay, better hide these so that uh, Theo doesn't see them. And I can't wait to put my bookmarks in the books that I'm reading. Yay! Nachos with chicken or beef or chicken and beef. Yum.
appointments with Amy and Melanie. It was really fun. I only stayed for two reading sprints, but we did lots of chatting and it was fun. Um, the first sprint I read The Things We Do For Love and I got like 25 pages read because it was a short sprint. And then second sprint, I read A Little Life and I am 200 pages in. Yeah, just crossed the 200 page mark. So that means a fourth of the way of this 800 page book. Um, and I can already tell I am going to absolutely love it. Uh, the way that it's developing the characters and making you really invested in their lives is perfect for me. I am enjoying it. And I know that some terribly tragic things have happened to one of the characters for sure. And we're slowly getting that information as we learn about the other people in his life. Uh, this book is about a woman named angie and uh her marriage is dissolving um because they have had issues with uh miscarriages and they just couldn't they couldn't deal with it any longer and um so her and her husband have gotten a divorce and she has moved back to her hometown to try to help her family's restaurant stay afloat and that's basically where i am um, I assume she'll do some personal growth and I think be kind of a role model for a, uh, young 17 year old because <laughs> that's what the back says. Okay. Anyway, I am going to go to bed. It's 11 15 on a Friday night. I know the children will be jumping in our bed at five, probably, uh, tomorrow morning. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. Yes, you saw correctly. Our children are watching TV way too close to the TV and eating Cheez-Its. <laughs> they kind of had breakfast before they ate the Cheez-Its. Um, anyway, it's Saturday morning and uh, let's see what's on the agenda for the day. Grandma and Grandpa are coming. Uh, yeah, that's right. Grandma and Grandpa are on their way. Whoa, Mommy. Um, because tonight, Willie and I are going to the Minnesota Orchestra concert. There's an oboe concerto being played, and uh, Willie is an oboe player. So we are going to see that. It's also the first time that the new symphony director will be conducting. So that's cool, too. Um, or not symphony, orchestra director. Sorry. I don't know technical terms. <laughs> I should. Uh, yeah, so Grandma and Grandpa are coming to watch them for tonight. Then... Uh, they're staying overnight because tomorrow we need them to watch uh, the kids for a benefit concert that Willie and I are singing for. Um, this morning, I was just kind of cleaning up the kitchen and I was able to listen to another 40 pages of A Little Life. Um, I really just feel for the character of Jude. Um, something really good happened in his life just now and um, but it's making him reflect on uh, the trauma of his past. So it's just gonna be good. Um, I am gonna sit here and drink my coffee. Willie made me a coffee this morning. And uh, I'm gonna read something. I don't know what I'll read first. Maybe because the uh, TV is on, I'll put my headphones in and listen to A Little Life. Grandma and Grandpa are here and we decided we're gonna go to the library. Yeah.
afternoon and we are on our way up to the cities to go to, well, first to dinner and then to the Minnesota Orchestra concert. Uh, Willie, what are we going to see? What are we going to um, hear? It is the inaugural weekend of the, with the new music director of the Minnesota Orchestra. And I suggested that we go because there's an opal concerto on the program, Mozart's opal concerto, which is uh, one that I, a piece that I worked on in college. And then um, it was also Don Juan, a tone poem by Strauss, and then another Strauss, Alpine Symphony. So that's what we're going to see. That's what we're going to see. Um, yeah, but it's fitting that an oboe player should go to here in Oboe Concerto. So that's what we're doing. Uh, it might be a late night, so I got a coffee and maybe I'll read some books on the way. <gasps> the colors are just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. We live in the bluffs and it's pretty. Change pretty, pretty. Okay, uh, talk to you later. scary drive because it was super thunderstormy outside so raining a lot and I hate driving in the rain and in the dark because I feel like I could never see the lines um so that was a little a little hectic and nerve-wracking but we made it it's 11 20 <laughs> so uh we are going to bed but I just wanted to tell you in the car rides and everything I was able to get like this far, a third, maybe even more than a third into this book. And oh, I love it. I love A Little Life. It's, I don't know what it is about me and sad stories, but I love them. I really love them. Uh, anyway, before bed, I'm just going to read as much of this as I can. I haven't read any of it today. So we are still at page 36. But in A Little Life, we're at like three 350. So that's great. All right. Uh, I will talk to you in the morning. Good night. Happy Sunday morning. Whoa. Happy Sunday morning. We have already been to church this morning and now we're going out for Sunday brunch. I didn't get anything filmed at church today, but the kids did really well during worship. We're able to sit during most of worship. So anyway, I better get going so we can go in and get our brunch. So big disappointment, there was no brunch. I thought that this place used to serve Sunday brunch and so we were going and they're like, we don't have brunch here. So it was just like grill food, sandwiches. Uh, what'd you get? You got chicken sandwich. Poor Theo got chicken nuggets and they were so cute. They were shaped like animals, but they were so overdone. I, it was not a super great lunch unfortunately yeah and it took 45 minutes to get our food and i mean they were like we have this huge biker gang that just came i don't know if that's what they're actually called like group <laughs> called, i call them a bike gang anyway um a bunch of motorcyclists had just come but that doesn't i mean yeah so we had to entertain the kids for that long and it was it was quite the endeavor mm -hmm. so we got home put mabel down for a nap and now we're back we're we're on our way back to church for a benefit concert. Willie and I are both singing and playing in a concert for um, a 
a school teacher that Willie works with who has cancer. So hopefully we can raise some good money for her and have some a good afternoon of music. Just be careful. One, two, three, go! Careful, Mabel. I win. Yes, you Good did. Job. Good job, everybody. Hello. It is now Sunday evening. Uh, we had a great concert. A lot of people showed up, so it was a wonderful benefit, and I hope uh, we made a lot of money for that family and... Um, just, I mean, it was a celebration of music, so it was really, really good. Uh, we came home, just kind of had a hodgepodge for dinner, and got the kids to bed. Now, I'm sitting down here, obviously, in my library, and I am just waiting for Willie to have a family meeting. And I could be reading, but I am just vegging, watching some YouTube videos, and uh, playing Nanogram. I don't know if that's actually what it's called. It's a game that I'm addicted to. Um, you just fill in boxes <laughs> according to the numbers on the sides. I don't know if that makes sense. I'll put a picture here. So that's what I'm doing. Watching. I watched uh, Kara from Kara's Bookshelf's video. I watched a finance video. You know, that I like budgeting videos. Um, I watched... Uh, Krista's Read Like Lindsay video, so I'm just uh, getting through all of the people that I'm subscribed to. Anyway, I'm going to wait for Willie to have our little weekly family meeting, and then I think I will go to reading and maybe taking a bath while I read. Um, I just love to calm down with the bath at night and then go to bed. It's, I don't have my watch on. Helpful. It's 8.30, so it's not too late, but we are tired. It's just been a busy weekend, doing a lot of stuff. So uh, I will hope to go to bed semi-early tonight. Anyway, I will check in with you probably one more time before bed. <laughs> I feel like this could be a tell me you have kids without telling me you have kids. First of all, of course, the soap. But then, Mario and a binder clip? <laughs> oh boy. It's Monday. I definitely forgot to close out the vlog last night because I fell asleep. <laughs> I uh, was reading The Things We Do For Love and fell asleep before I could record anything. Uh, so I thought I'd get on, close out the vlog, but I also wanted to show you I got new glasses. Um, it's been a whole saga with my glasses. I used to have this exact pair, but in like a pink color and they somehow got broken involved being in a pocket when I was jumping into Lake Superior. Yeah, it just, <laughs> no good. So I ordered a new pair, the exact same pair, the pink color, and they came in this nose piece. I don't know if you can see. was completely crooked. It was 
wonky and I got upset because I waited, you know, a week to get these glasses and they were the, <laughs> I was wearing old glasses that had an old prescription so I couldn't see and uh, I was mad. So they ended up refunding me a little bit more. So I was able to get a little bit nicer pair of lenses at least. And then I decided to go with tortoise for the uh, frame instead of the pink. There's still the gold there. So I like that little, uh, Bonnie is here trying to get attention. Uh, I still like that accent of gold, but I think I like the tortoise. I don't know. Let me know if you like my glasses <laughs> in the comments below. That sounds so selfish, but I'm, I'm genuinely curious if you think they look okay on my face. All right. Anyway, super great weekend of reading. I got 350 pages into A Little Life, which if you know A Little Life, I'm still not even halfway there, but that's okay. And uh, I got probably 70 or 80 pages into The Things We Do For Love. So semi-successful. I didn't finish any books, but I definitely made some great progress. So thanks for watching this weekend reading vlog. Like this video on your way out. Consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to see more bookish and bullet journaling content from me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.